Hello, my friends and masterminds. I am Mastar, and today, if you like Dragon Ball and you like animation, you've come to the right place because we are going to do an animation tutorial on how to shoot key blasts right out of your hands. Well, of course, make your characters do them in your animation. Now, you may think it's complicated, but it's actually pretty easy. However, there are some tricks that you can make it seem even much more powerful and more impactful when that energy blast comes out and it really feels like it's shooting out of their hand and not just like a ball flying out of their hand. So I'm gonna show you guys how to make that impactful kind of like rocket hand type thing that happens and we're gonna go over that step by step. So I think this is actually gonna be a shorter tutorial, but this is one of the scenes that I'm working on for Goku vs Superman. And as I promised before, I am gonna be doing a lot more animation tutorials to help the community, as well as it's easy for me while I'm animating to make these kinds of videos, because I have to do this work anyways. So let's jump right into it. All right, guys, so here you can see I have this picture of Goku and it's kind of looking down from an eagle eye perspective. And the reason I'm doing this is because he's gonna shoot the key blast up and out towards the screen. So he's gonna shoot the key blast like up this way. So what I wanna do is I, I already drew three frames of his, the movement. So I'm gonna do this on threes, meaning uh, it's three frames in the animation, uh, essentially three redrawn pictures. So he starts here, he pushes out and let me, um, zoom out a little bit so you guys can see uh, so he pushes out he starts here pushes out and then finally he's gonna rocket it out and the reason I drew the hands all weird up here is because I'm gonna have a big energy ball building there and it's gonna cover most of his hand so uh, you know I kind of want maybe his fingers will be sticking out so but otherwise I don't really need to go into a lot of detail on the hand because it's gonna be um, underneath the energy ball that he shoots out so the first thing that I want to do here is I actually want to create the energy ball. So let's go ahead and zoom in. I'm going to create a new layer for this energy ball. I'm going to pick a circle, turn the inside to white, and then I'm going to make it something like this. All right, and then I want to delete this um, line. We don't need that. Now I'm going to turn this energy ball into a symbol. So we'll make that a symbol. Now I'm gonna give it two glows. This is the uh, the glows I've been using for this animation. I found like a really cool color combination. You make the bottom one this really bright blue. Give it a high and increase the strength and the blur. And then you make the top one a light blue and you give it high and increase the strength and the blur. I can probably, yes, I can probably increase this really make it look nice and clean play around with it until I get it right all right so I think that that pops pretty good now I want the energy symbol to actually be pulsating in his in his hand so how I'm gonna do that I'm gonna go inside my symbol I'm gonna copy it go to the next frame and then I'm gonna paste in place and now I want to shrink it just a tad, or I can make it bigger either way. But we just want it to be like flickering. And that's, this is basically how you do it. This isn't cooperating very well. Let me undo that. So you can actually zoom in closer and that'll give you more accuracy when you're resizing things. Okay, that's good. So now it's going to be like pulsating and flickering in his hand. Um, so what I can show you, hold on. If I extend these frames, all right, there. So we test the scene and then we can see, you know, it pulsating in his hand. Obviously we're going to need to change the ball in a couple key moments here. And we also want some other things happening as well, but at least we have the energy ball kind of charging up. Okay. So we're going to create our, um, energy ball right now, right? So what we're going to do is use the brush tool this time and give it a white color. And we want it to be coming out something like this. 
Okay, and we're gonna fill that. I may just want to give it some more kind of like, I mean, this is pretty good. Um, some more kind of like flare. All right, let's go with that. So now we're gonna turn this into a symbol. Okay, then we're gonna go inside and then we're gonna make a new frame because this is gonna be like flying and pulsing out like really fast. Now I'm gonna turn on my onion skin so I can see kind of how I did it before. But I wanna draw a different kind of image. So this time I want it to be like spilling out more. And the way you show something pulsing is it goes like bigger, smaller, bigger, smaller. So that's basically what we're trying to do. Okay. So now that we have our um, symbol of the energy blast, we can give it our two glows that we did before. So let's go ahead and do that. All right, so let's extend these frames and then take a look at what it looks like. Okay, so it looks um, okay, but we still got a lot of stuff to do to make it really, really pop. So first thing I noticed is that this guy is way too sharp. So what we can do is we can add in our filters, add a blur, make it high quality, and then increase the blur um, enough that it won't show these like sharp lines. And that will help a lot with it just kind of blending into the scene. Um, we could potentially draw another frame in here. I'm not 100% sure that we even need it or want it at this point. But what I do know is next we have to do the hair and the clothes. So that's what we're going to do next. And there's still a whole bunch of extra tricks that we're going to do to really make it pop when it comes out. I'm going to do his hair on a two symbol in the same way that I did the energy blast, meaning I'm going to draw it, turn it into a symbol, and then add another frame and redraw it again. And that'll show his hair flying like crazy. I'm also going to do the same thing with the clothes. So let's just go ahead and get that done right now. All right, that's one, and um, whoops, that's one. And then now let's do the uh, turn into a symbol and do it again. All right, and we still got our onion skin on, which is good. Um, so we can see uh, what it looked like last frame. And I just really want his hair kind of flying out this way. Okay, and what I'm doing here is I have to connect this part to this part, but I don't want to just draw a line here since this hair is a layer on top. Now I could draw, I could have done this in a different way. Um, I'm just doing it this way to speed up the tutorial. It's actually not that good and I might have to clean this up later. But basically what I could have done is turn the um, this part up here into a layer beneath um, Actually, you know what, that really wouldn't have worked either because then his clothes would interfere. So what I could do is copy this line right here from where the ear is uh, from Goku and then paste it in the symbol and that way I can connect it like this. But I'm just gonna do it this way for now to save time. All right. So that's his hair going like crazy. Now let's do his clothes. 
So what we're gonna do is we're gonna turn the Goku, um, like his body, into a symbol, and we're just gonna use the vector lines to really shift his clothes around and also put that on a two. Okay, so, uh, you know, same same exact process as earlier. Turn to a symbol, create a new layer, paste it in place. Now I'm just gonna use my um, selection tool, which I usually just press V, and I'm just gonna do stuff like this, like pull the clothes around, make them extend in some parts, make them fall in in some parts, and then um, that'll really give the effect that his his clothes are like really waving in the wind. And don't forget to change these lines on the inside too. It's really important that those don't stay static. And you can even change the paint too, sometimes. Um, if you have really smooth lines of paint, you can even modify these. And that's like really high quality when you start doing that stuff. It's letting me do it right now for some reason. I don't know why it like doesn't always let me do it. But the more I change this, the better it's gonna look. Okay, I think that'll be good. So we got the clothes, the hair, and the energy bomb uh, all changing rapidly. So let's take a look and see how this looks. Yeah, that looks good, actually. Um, additionally, you know, I am gonna go back into this and probably draw more shading on the hair and stuff just to give it more effect. But um, so far, it looks pretty good. And now that we have this, let's do the probably the most important stuff, which is the pop. Okay, so we're going for it to really, really pop. And now this pop, that this key pop that I'm about to do, is also really good for when people transform. So I want you guys to keep this in mind, um, because you, if you're doing your own animations, especially for Dragon Ball stuff, and people go Super Saiyan or above, um, you always want to include what I'm about to show you because it really makes that transformation pop. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to create five extra frames right before this uh, final um, frame of him actually shooting it. So we go to the second image here. One, two, three, four, five. Let's give it six. Okay, so we just extended it quite a bit. Now let's go to the frame above. On the fourth frame above, we'll create a new keyframe. Now we're just gonna draw a white square covering the entire scene. Okay, now we're gonna convert this square into a symbol and we're gonna give it an alpha over here in color effect. And I think this is good actually, about 54% alpha. Now we're gonna copy this. On the next frame, paste it again. This time, um, no alpha, it's just pure white. Now we're gonna do a black square Okay, and then this is this is where it gets fun. So we want this picture of Goku right here. We're gonna copy it. We're gonna paste it here on the black. Okay, and this is where it gets really interesting. So we're gonna start using the color white and we're gonna just whiten probably only the light parts of like the lighter levels of shading in this entire picture here and everything else we're gonna turn black. So there's just going to be like some, and you'll see what I'm going to say, see, showing you in a second. So uh, let me just do don't close gap so I get all the colors. And anything that's a light shade, I'm going to make it white. Okay, and then the rest of it, uh, we want to do black. So let's go ahead and turn that all black. 
Okay, there we go. So, all of this white part, we're gonna turn it into a symbol and give it some awesome glow. So what I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna hold shift and highlight all of it and turn it into a symbol. Okay, we got it all. And now, convert to symbol, okay. Now we can do the really cool stuff. So we're gonna give it some glows. Now there's a couple different things. You can make it a white glow, which is pretty cool. But usually I think like adding something like this is pretty neat. Um, let's see if we give it the same double glow that's his energy blast. Like I love that double blue, like bright blue and dark blue. Yeah, that looks awesome. Okay, so we're actually gonna keep this for two frames. And then we're going to put the full white and then the um, half white uh, white boxes on top of that. So I'm turn off the onion skins you can see. So we'll put the full white here. So it goes basically from normal to light to dark, back to light, out. All right, let's take a look. Yeah. Yeah, that pops. So it really makes it look like it's popping out. Okay, so there is uh, a bunch of other things that we can do here. Uh, we can put shadows under Goku. Um, we can put some like flashing lights, which I know you guys hate. We can do camera shake. Um, there's a whole bunch of other elements I'm probably going to add into this just to make it seem even better. But uh, for the purpose of this, um, I think this tutorial has gone long enough. So I hope this has given you guys some good ideas on how to animate uh, just shooting out a laser beam or energy key, a key blast out of your hand. And um, you know, I'll check you guys in the next video. I got tons more of animation tutorials to make, and I will check you guys soon. Take it easy. Thanks for joining Master Media today. If you liked this animation tutorial, there are three more links right here that you can check out and learn Adobe Animate CC. Also, if you're making your own flash animations and you feel like running them by me, I'd love to take a look. So feel free to reach out to me on Twitter or Facebook, and I will talk to you guys soon for another video.